Evening news at 6. After opening arguments, testimony begins in a bribery case. Good evening, I'm Gary Sloan. Cindy Mae Johnson is on assignment. Late yesterday, opening arguments were held in the federal bribery trial against former state representative W. Keith Hall. During his remarks, Assistant U.S. Attorney Kenneth Taylor told a jury of eight men and six women that Hall allegedly paid former mine inspector Kelly Shortridge $43,000 to overlook violations at Hall's mines between 2006 and 2012. Taylor said Shortridge inspected Hall's mines numerous times, but only wrote him up for violations when it could not be avoided. Taylor also described a complicated scheme to make the payments through various business accounts. In addition, Hall is accused of co-signing a loan for Shortridge, co-signing a car loan for Shortridge's son, and making payments on it and recommending Shortridge for a promotion. In his opening statement, defense attorney Bryce Caldwell said, Hall does not dispute the amount of money that changed hands. He said Hall will testify to explain what the payments were for and added that Hall sh and never asked Shortridge not to do his job. Caldwell described the prosecution's case as a jigsaw puzzle with a lot of missing pieces. The trial is expected to last through the week and continued with witness testimony today. A second wrongful death lawsuit has been filed against Stanville attorney Eric C. Kahn. The lawyer is being sued by the family of a former client who took her own life after receiving a letter from the Social Security Administration that her benefits were being cut off due to suspicions of fraud. According to the complaint filed by John Daniel Jude of Martin County, his wife Melissa became dependent and received the letter making statements that she felt worthless. On June 2nd, Melissa Jude drove to Sawmill Hollow where she would later was found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The couple have been married for 23 years. This lawsuit seeks unspecified damages. Days before the start of a new fiscal court year, the city of Pikeville has a new budget. The spending plan was passed during last night's city commission meeting. EKB News reporter Courtney Lovern spoke with officials about the process. With the new fiscal year approaching for the Pikeville City Commission, the task of adopting a new budget is at hand and that was discussed in Monday night's commission meeting. City Attorney Russell Davis presented the reading of the budget in front of the commissioners and they voted to adopt the ordinance. The city manager discussed the budget's purpose. What the commission did tonight is pursuant to uh, the requirements to uh, Kentucky law and Department of Local Government, a, a government agency is required to pass a budget prior to going into the next fiscal year. Um, so the commission last month held a, a work session, a public work session, and uh, went over the budget in detail. Uh, once the budget was put together, then you actually do a first reading and then a second reading be prior to the new fiscal year taking place, which is uh, July 1, our fiscal year. So. Uh, so the commission passed the budget tonight uh, upon publication of the ordinance in our local newspaper, then the budget will be enacted. So start uh, July the 1st, we'll have actually an operating budget uh, to go off of. Blackburn mentioned that the budget fluctuates as they receive grants and different projects come up. The normal budget has run around 30 to 34 million dollars and a large part of those budgets includes the fact that Pikeville has their own police and fire departments. He also mentioned that they normally forecast very conservatively so overspending won't be an issue. We're extremely proud of the budget this year and the commission uh, um, and what they have, been, have done every year that I've been here and the fact of fully funding the police and fire departments for emergency services and then ensuring that the quality of life issues, our parks departments and those things that really have value to our community are also uh, funded uh, to the level that they need to be. Reporting for EKB Evening News at 6, I'm Courtney Levern. The Prestonsburg City Council last night rejected an ordinance that would have allowed Sunday alcohol sales at Stonecrest Golf Course. The ordinance was up for a second and final reading during last night's meeting, but after a motion from Councilman Harry Adams, the measure died for lack of a second. Under the proposal, alcohol would have been available for sale at the golf course between the hours of 1 and 9 o'clock. Community and business leaders gathered in Pikeville yesterday to talk about a continue to the spur the economic region's development efforts. EKB News reporter Shelby Steele attended the meeting and brings us this report. 
An economic development meeting was held Monday in Pikeville to gather all city and county leaders in one room to discuss where the county is at this time in regards to economic development. Jacob Colley, president and CEO of the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, says this has been a long time coming. This is something that we have been working on well before I came onto the chamber, but it's something that uh, we have, are now ready to, uh, to really launch and start marketing and, and start a recruiting process to bring industry here or help industry expand here. Officials say this is a group effort by the community and local leaders, and the community is finally moving forward and becoming what it needs to be. We have invested, and when I say we, I say very loosely, that's the community, that's the organizations here have worked very hard to get Marion's branch ready for industry. And what does that mean? Well, that means getting excess capacity of water and sewer, an access road, a bridge, getting those things in place that have to be ready to attract and create industry. Well, we are about six months from all those things being ready, and we'll be able to attract and create those jobs on Marion's branch. And it's going to be a great property for Eastern Kentucky. Officials say right now they're trying to determine what types of jobs the region has to offer and recruiting people from there. We can put together a list of target industries. So we may know that, you know, in Martin County, it's advanced manufacturing or medical device manufacturing. We know we need to focus on those types of companies to recruit there. Maybe down in Pike County, it's food processing or food manufacturing, that sort of thing. You know, we've got Kellogg's here, which is a globally recognized brand. You know, that's going to be on our website. We're going to be promoting the fact that Kellogg's is in this region and Joy and, and some of the other companies who are globally and nationally recognized because not only does a company that's looking to locate somewhere do they want a good piece of property, they want a good workforce, good roads, got all those. They also want to see evidence that other companies have been successful here. Reporting for EKB Evening News at 6, I'm Shelby Steele. Well, coming up, an area hospital is making a big announcement this evening. We'll tell you what it's all about. And Marlo Tackett's name was added to the Country Music Highway earlier today. We'll be back in two minutes. EKB Evening News at 6 is presented by Pikeville Medical Center. Someone you love has just been traumatically injured. Every minute counts. If your loved one is one of the more than 411,000 people in Pikeville Medical Center's trauma coverage area, their treatment options have dramatically improved. The American College of Surgeons recently designated PMC as a trauma center. The minutes that would have been wasted traveling to a hospital hours away are now spent saving the lives of people who matter to you. When the minutes count, count on Pikeville Medical Trauma Center. Proud member Mayo Clinic Care Network. Walters, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. Over 300 new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Coal Country's largest selection of Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. Shop with us online today where we have over 250 vehicles for you to view from the comfort of your home. See something you like online or want to browse our lot in person? Then come on down to Walters Chevy. Our friendly staff will help you find the perfect vehicle at the very best price. Visit us online, waltersgm.com, or stop by our lot today. Zip. Paddle. Saddle. Pikeville's exciting outdoor adventures just got even better. For a very limited time, zip line, kayak, and ride horseback for one super low price. Zip, paddle, and saddle for only $69 adults and $65 ages 8 to 14. Zip line portion only $29 adults and $25 kids. Reserve your spot now at visitpikeville.com. Explore the beauty of the Appalachian Mountains like never before. Did you know that cable provides lightning fast internet speeds that are secure and reliable with enough bandwidth to power all your devices? When you say hello to cable internet, you say goodbye to slow. And that's a cable fact. Unleash the internet with Intermountain Cable's ridiculously fast next-gen broadband. Unlike cellular, streaming and gaming won't be a problem. Power all your devices and say bye-bye to buffering. Make the connection today. Intermountain Cable. Next-gen broadband is here. A ceremony was held today to officially add local musician Marlo Tackett's name to the Country Music Highway. East Kentucky Broadcasting News reporter Shelby Steele went to the event and tells us how Tackett's legacy continues to grow. A ceremony was held today to celebrate Marlo Tackett's name being added to the Country Music Highway in Pike County. 
Friends, family, community members, and church members joined the District 12 Highway Department in the unveiling of the new sign that will be placed along US 23. Senator Ray Jones spearheaded the resolution in the Kentucky General Assembly to add the late entertainer's name to the small group of country musicians who were honored along US 23. State Representative Leslie Combs introduced the bill to the House. He's a legend of the area, uh, known for his musical talent, but also known for his caring spirit of how he cared about the children at Christmas. He was kind of like Santa Claus. Many of Tackett's family members came to the dedication to honor him. Tackett's son David says he will be missed by many and he is proud of his father. It just means everything in the world. It's been a long time coming. I don't know, words really can't explain it, you know. I mean, uh, Dad would be really happy today. I don't know, I guess I'm just speechless. Purple balloons were released at the end of the ceremony in honor of Marlo Tackett, who passed away from pancreatic cancer. Reporting for EKB Evening News at 6, I'm Shelby Steele. This evening at 6.30, Pikeville Medical Center will hold an event to announce it is now the only hospital in Kentucky to have been verified as a level 2 trauma center by the American College of Surgeons. As a verified trauma center, the hospital is equipped and staffed to provide comprehensive emergency care to patients suffering traumatic injuries from car wrecks, gunshots, assaults, falls, and other incidents from the time before they arrive at the hospital through rehabilitation. Studies show that emergency patients receiving care in a trauma center have fewer complications and higher rates of survival, especially when they receive trauma care within the first 60 minutes. Prior to the designation, area emergency patients often had to be transferred up to two hours away, depriving them of valuable treatment time. State law requires that trauma victims be transported to the closest trauma center. Pikeville Medical Center's Trauma Center now provides that care to a population for more than 400,000. A three-year partnership between the SOAR Initiative and the Kentucky Community and Technical College System is being designed to train Eastern Kentucky students for the careers of the future. Under the agreement, KCTCS will develop and promote a computer and information technology track to develop students to design, develop, and maintain computer programs written in current and emerging computer languages. The program will emphasize coding careers. The college system will also work entrepreneurship in the region. The program will take at five schools across eastern Kentucky, including Big Sandy Community and Technical College, as well as Hazard, Ashland, Somerset, and Southeast Kentucky. Well, coming up, an SEC school is looking to make history in the world of college series, and Jamie Johnson will be in to tell us all about it. But first, EKB Chief Meteorologist Lathan Hopkins will let us know when we might expect a break from this heat. We'll be back in two minutes. Medical trauma experts understand that minutes make the difference in saving lives. Pikeville Medical Center is proud to announce their designation as a trauma center by the American College of Surgeons. This important designation means that more than 411,000 people in PMC's coverage area have the advantage of trauma services from a nearby hospital during the crucial time following a traumatic event. When minutes count, count on Pikeville Medical Trauma Center, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. It's true, all it takes is one. One person, you, one red cent, also known as a penny, to walk into one store, Appalachian Wireless. And you can walk away with the one Android smartphone that we don't have to tell you how great it is. Because we know you'll look up the reviews online anyway. Get the HTC One M8 from Appalachian Wireless for just a penny when you sign up for service. Going on now at an Appalachian Wireless near you. Used cars for only $5 this Saturday at Hot Chevrolet in Batesville. The Price Slasher is back. I'm the Price Slasher and I got a passion for slashing here at Hot Chevrolet. Ain't that right, Miss Slasher? That's right. We're going to slash them up, baby. Slash. 20 to 50% off with some cars sold for only $5.
Hi folks, I'm Ari Edsel Branham. Based on over 30 years of doing this job I love, I invite you to click on iropranum.com where you'll find helpful videos when the need arises. Wreck with a car or big truck, family law, divorce, child custody and support, criminal law matters, DUI, on the job injuries, workers' compensation. Click on it or dial me up. I want to help. The weather with Chief Meteorologist Lathan Hopkins is presented by the Ira Branham Law Office. Well, Lathan, a few rumbles of thunder out there. We've had a few thunderstorms make their way across the region. A few more to deal with before things calm down overnight tonight. The Doppler radar showing who is picking up some of the uh, showers and thunderstorms. At this time, we have one cell that has uh, developed there near, let's say, Ash Camp or so, near Lookout, another over toward Phelps. And then this is the one that I'll be watching here in northern parts of Pike County producing some thunder. Uh, we can hear that here in Pikeville, as a matter of fact. And then a few more showers developing from Williamson over to Prestonsburg. The main front is still to our north, and you can see that stretching from the uh, northern parts of West Virginia, crossing over into Kentucky now near Ashland. See another little band here of showers developing. And this front is moving from the north to the south, and once it does so, we'll bring down the temperatures very little for tomorrow. I'll show you that here in just a second. Now we do have a severe thunderstorm watch box that is in effect for Mingo and Logan counties. This goes through 10 o'clock tonight, but unless things really start to get uh, going here within the next little bit, I'd say we could probably see this canceled much earlier than 10 o'clock. Now, let's talk about temperatures. That's going to be the big story here over the next couple of days. Overnight lows tonight, back in the upper 60s, low 70s, where we have been over the past several nights, several mornings. This is what we've woken up to. Now, as we make our way into the day tomorrow, 80s instead of 90s, still upper 80s, not much of a cool down. And then as we make our way into Thursday, the 90s continue to funnel right on up into uh, eastern Kentucky, western West Virginia, southwest Virginia. It is what happens Friday and into the weekend that you will really notice that it, that will last all the way into the early part of next week. As a matter of fact, the jet stream is set to take a buckle right across the Great Lakes and Ohio River. This means that this will allow some of the cooler Canadian air to make its way here across our region, while the heat will be building to the west. What are we talking about for daily high temperatures? Again, this is this upcoming weekend. Notice the 70s widespread across the region. So a big cool down compared to the 90s that we've had for days upon days. This is high temperatures in the upper 70s. And there you see the heat, triple digits down toward LA and of course in the uh, 90s as far north as uh, Oregon and Washington. 80s in the middle part of the country, but 70s? We go from well above average to a couple degrees below average for the weekend and early next week. So get ready for a cool down. The pollen count, sponsored by Faith Pharmacy, Adams Plaza in Pikeville. 4.5 on Wednesday, 4.8 on Thursday, and down to 2.3 with a better chance of rain moving in on Friday. Friday, Saturday, that is going to be the key time for those showers and thunderstorms to develop. Some of that rainfall on uh, Friday may be locally heavy at times, possibility of se severe weather as well. But look at the temperatures. 87 tomorrow, 91 on Thursday, 83 Friday and then into the upper 70s and low 80s Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. Wow. I'm liking it. Uh, yes. When you get into late June and you're talking about high temperatures in the 70s, mm -hmm. it's tough to complain. That's right. Folks it will is. be out enjoying it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Lathan. Right. Well, as the Zip Paddle and Saddle attraction has made its mark around the Bob Amos Park in Pikeville, a new attraction is coming that appeals to the horse enthusiasts in the region an equestrian ring. Years ago, the city of Pikeville was awarded a grant for an equestrian ring to be placed at Bob Amos and with experienced horse trail worker Betty Tackett at the reins, this will be added on to the horse attraction at the park. Uh, we've got adequate room up at Bob Amos. Uh, the commission wanted uh, to take that next step uh, with really expanding our equestrian uh, business because when you look at Kentucky, you look at ecotourism, one of the things we're well known for is our horsing industry, obviously. Uh, so any way that we can uh, a, a really put a, a mark on that and, and really showcase in our community is always good, but being able to do so in a way that has an economic advantage for bringing in you know, a few thousand people also makes it nice. So. 
it'll be a uh, it'll be a nice venue and something else that we're looking forward to of adding to our great community. Monday's action was only the first step in establishing the venue. There is no definitive timeline for when the facility will open. And we'll be back with sports in two minutes. Where you live should not determine if you live. Pikeville Medical Center proudly announces their designation as a trauma center by the American College of Surgeons. More than 411,000 people are within PMC's trauma coverage area. These lives are made safer by this important development. Rather than transferring to a hospital out of state or hours away, trauma patients may now be treated close to home. Pikeville Medical Trauma Center, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. You love custom automotive accessories, and so do we. At Walters Toyota Nissan, regardless of where you bought your car, truck, or SUV, let Walters Toyota Nissan customize it and accessorize it. Window tent starting at 119. Weather tech starting at 109. Lift kits, bed liners, hitches, rain guards, bug shields, custom decals, and wheels, all professionally installed. So no matter what you drive or where you got it, Walters Toyota Nissan is your custom automotive accessories one stop. At People's Insurance, the things that matter to you matter to us. But finding the right kind of insurance coverage can be confusing. By working with a People's Insurance agent, you can rest assured that your future is protected. With a variety of coverage options, your agent will work closely with you to help determine the protection that fits your needs. We'll be there to answer questions and review your coverage as time goes on. You've planned for the future. Let us protect it. People's Insurance. Working together. Building success. Walters, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. Over 300 new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Coal Country's largest selection of Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. Shop with us online today where we have over 250 vehicles for you to view from the comfort of your home. See something you like online or want to browse our lot in person? Then come on down to Walters Chevy. Our friendly staff will help you find the perfect vehicle at the very best price. Visit us online, waltersgm.com, or stop by our lot today. Well, Jamie, everybody knows about the World Series, but how about the College World Series? Yeah, the College World Series sometimes flies under the radar. When you think of the World Series, think of baseball in October. Well, the College World Series could wrap up as soon as tonight. Mm -hmm. The Vanderbilt Commodores are one win away from becoming only the seventh school to capture back-to-back -back College World Series championships. Vandy defeated Virginia last year to claim their first ever World Series title and the 10th overall for the Southeastern Conference. Now last night, Vandy reached one step closer to consecutive championships. Game was scoreless until the sixth inning when Vandy third baseman Will Toffee smacked this double Bringing in the Doors' first two runs of the game, Vanderbilt is trying to finish the NCAA tournament with a perfect 10-0 record on their way to back-to-back -to -back titles. Now, Vanderbilt would pick up some insurance in the seventh inning. This RBI single put Vandy up 3-0, and the Doors would stretch the lead a little further to 5-0 as we head to the top of the ninth before Virginia would be able to scratch one out. This pinch hit single by Jack Gersenmeyer it would be enough, though. Vanderbilt holds off Virginia 5-1. to one. The final score, Vandy can close out the best of three series tonight. Day two of Kentucky Sports Radio's summer tour across the bluegrass landed in Paintsville this morning where Matt Jones welcomed class of 2016 linebacker and hometown boy Cash Daniel to the program. Daniel, who will announce his college choice between Kentucky, South Carolina, and Louisville during a ceremony at Paintsville High School on the 4th of July, sure sounded like he is ready to don the blue and white on today's show. You got the grand campus tour. You know, I had a meeting with the vice president of the university. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm just some kid from East Kentucky. You're going to meet me with the vice president of the university. <laughs> I mean, this is unreal. I mean, and then, you know, the, the, your basic visits, you know, you're going to get the football facility tour. You know, that's great and all, but it's all about where you're going to spend your life for four years. You know, you want to see more than just the weight room and the practice field. And mm -hmm. they just showed me around the entire campus and showed me how, uh, how good life would be there if I chose to come there. 
The NBA draft is Thursday, and the latest mock draft boards still have four Kentucky Wildcats predicted to land as lottery picks. If Carl Anthony Towns is selected number one overall, it would give coach John Calipari a record four number one picks, joining John Wall, Anthony Davis, and Derrick Rose, who played for Coach Cal at Memphis. Also on Thursday, it could be historic if Kentucky produces seven total selections, which would set a record for the most selections from the same school in one draft. All signs point to Carl Anthony Towns as the number one overall pick by the Minnesota Timberwolves, according to Chad Ford of ESPN and also DraftExpress.com. Devin Booker is the next on the board at number nine to the Charlotte Hornets. Both ESPN and Draft Express believe that Willie Colley Stein will land to Indiana. He could slide down to the 11th pick. And also, Trey Lyles can land either at Phoenix at number 13 or just outside the lottery window at number 17 with the Milwaukee Bucks. Dakari Johnson looks solid at number 40 with the Miami Heat. And Andrew Harrison, who used the combine and team workouts to improve his status, could be a second round pick. Brother Aaron Harrison looks to be the only cat on the outside looking in, yet could still be on an NBA roster as an unrestricted free agent and will most likely land in a team camp if he goes undrafted. Finally, as the 2015 guard class comes together, Jamal Murray could make his decision between Oregon and Kentucky tomorrow if Kentucky is his choice. Most experts believe it would give the Wildcats the country's best point guard, best two guard, three guard combination in the country if Murray picks Kentucky over Oregon. And why wouldn't he? Yeah, why wouldn't he? Why would <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Yeah. We'll be back in two minutes. Pikeville Medical Center is celebrating. The results of a national Medicare and Medicaid survey are in. Pikeville Medical Center has received the highest rating possible in patient satisfaction. PMC has been measured against 3,500 hospitals by the toughest judges available, and we have scored in the top 5%. That's one way we are delivering quality regional health care in a Christian environment. Used cars for only $5 this Saturday at Hot Chevrolet in Paintsville. The Price Slasher is back. I'm the Price Slasher and I got a passion for slashing here at Hot Chevrolet. Ain't that right, Miss Slasher? That's right. We're going to slash them up, baby. Slash. $22.50 off and some cars sold for only $5. Ray worked on my case relentlessly. Injured people turned to attorney Ray Jones to protect their rights. He was wonderful. You couldn't ask for any better. Injury claims can be complicated. Personal injury, workers' comp, social security disability. We can handle all three. Ray's a very good-hearted, caring person. He did wonders for me. Helping injured people, that's what we do. Give us a call. I don't think I could have picked a better law firm than Ray's. Injured? Call Ray Jones. Hello, Big Blue Nation. Dave Baker here for my friends at Walters Mitsubishi. In Kentucky, we know about goals and numbers. We're here are the numbers at Walters Mitsubishi. They have 20 new Outlander sports in stock. The goal, all must be sold in the month of June. So this four-wheel drive SUV that has a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty has been priced at $19,889. 20 to choose from, and they all have to go at $19,889. Check us out at WaltersMM. Com. Offer good through June 30th. Price before tax, title, and license. Price includes owner loyalty rebate. See dealer for details. Before we leave you tonight, we want to pass along this advisory from Mountain Water District. 93 households in the Hatfield area will be affected by a scheduled outage tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. each day in order to repair water lines. The affected area runs from 5949 North Big Creek Road to 136 Cedar Drive and all side roads. Afterwards, the entire area will be under a boil water advisory until further notice. Well, Lathan, rumbles of thunder continuing outside. Indeed, and especially in Mingo, Pike, and Floyd counties, that's where we have the strongest of the storm. Some of these putting down some frequent lightning, heavy rain, gusty winds. And then once we get past today and tomorrow, that's when the temperatures take a hit into the 70s this weekend and low 80s for early next week. Okay, thank you. And coming up tonight, Jamie? Well, as the uh, thunder and the rain roll in, enjoy. <laughs> 
And that will do it for tonight's EKB Evening News. Remember, you can get more local news anytime by listening to the radio stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. You can also follow EKB News and EKB TV on Facebook and Twitter. Good night and thanks for watching.